Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another installment of Trading Card Corner tonight, guys. We are going to be checking out a sequel series to a set I've already covered in this set. You see, guys, one of the earliest sets I covered was one from my childhood. It was, uh, from, it was from Skybox. It was called DC Cosmic Cards, and I mentioned a sequel. And I finally got the box. Actually, I've had the box for quite a while now. In 1993, after, after Impel had officially become Skybox, they finally released the follow-up set, DC Cosmic Teams. Now for, now, for the sake of time, I have already taken the box out of the shrink wrap. Because I noticed that was eating up a lot of time in the videos, and I don't really want to waste a lot of time on these just boring you guys with stupid shit like taking boxes out of shrink wrap. So let's get the sucker open. Um, I do know that between Cosmic Cards and this set, Skybox, Skybox wised up. Uh, you can see up here, 100, 150 card set. That is uh, far smaller than what was in the original Cosmic Cards set. Um, they've also shortened the number of holograms, I know, because I do have a story, and this is, and this is going to take up a bit of time, but please just bear with me. I mentioned I wanted all of the holograms from DC Cosmic Cards, all ten of them. The one that was the hardest to find was the one that I wanted the most, and that was Lobo here. And uh, one of the people on eBay who I was working with uh, said that they were selling the Cosmic Cards Lobo hologram card. When I bought it, they didn't send the Cosmic Cards hologram. They sent the Cosmic Teams hologram of Lobo, and that looks really fucking sweet. Also, as a nice little bit of trivia, the hologram numbering actually continues from where Cosmic Cards ended. Cosmic Cards was DCH1 through DCH10. This is 11 through 16, of which I already have one, and I haven't even opened a single pack yet. That is fucking beautiful. Now let's uh, grab one of these packs. Uh, they apparently have now shunned away from the trash bag packs that were part of uh, Cosmic Cards in that uh, Marvel set I covered. Now we're back to traditional foil packs, very similar to the very first set I covered in this series. It's also from Skybox. I've noticed I'm covering a lot of Skybox in this series. Did not think I'd be doing that. So who do we got here? We have the we have the silver we have the silver banshee. Awesome. We have Luthor 2. Oh god, Luthor 2. Story time for this one. Um, by the way, this is actually part of a set in the, in the cards called Foes of Superman. Luthor 2, if memory serves, is a clone of Lex Luthor. Uh, Luthor was dying of cancer because he had the because he wore the kryptonite ring for years, and he had this body made and had his mind dumped into it. It was a real stupid time for Superman. Uh, we have Blaze, also a foe of Superman. Never heard of Blaze. That is sort of a new one. We have John Stewart of the of the Green Lantern Corps. Very awesome. You can tell. Yeah, I'm kind of partial to that one. You know, just showing off that. Speaking, we also have Burke, also of the Corps. I don't have a lot of memory of Burke. Just saying. Uh, right here. Ooh, this looks to be part of like a three card run, specifically of the Corps. That is really freaking cool. Speaking of Green Lantern, <laughs> here is the Justice Society Green Lantern. Golden Age Green Lantern. That's fucking awesome. And Wow, this is a very Green Lantern-centric pack. And here's Hal Jordan from Justice League Inter-Fucking-National. That is really cool. What do the back look? Okay, so the back really just gives you a little bit of history on the character flashback to everything that they've got. All right. All of that seems really freaking cool. Um... I'm actually kind of sort of digging the way that the cards cards uh, look. So I've got another 35 packs to open, guys. If I get any holograms, or perhaps if I get a complete one of these like three card puzzle puzzle runs, I'll show you exactly what they look like. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Y you know, guys, I never really looked at this on the back of the first pack. I'm looking at it now on, on the second pack. At least on this one, uh, the little thing they got written on here is. I'm going to try to get that on camera so you guys can read it, but the shine is going to make that a bit difficult. It It is, subscribe to DC Comics and save, and save money! Basically, you save money on every 12 issue, so or every 12 month. So, or no, it actually is a 12 issue, specified, subscription you do to a, to a uh, DC title. 
I'm going to assume that this is no longer active. I wonder if they have a date for that. We'll send you a subscription order form which lists all of your favorite DC titles at a special discount respond now. Offer expires July 31st, 1993. Yeah, it says it right down there at the bottom. It's kind of hard to read with, with the foil. Still, it is sort of cool that they were at least offering a discount uh, a discount to people if, if, if they purchased the cards. That's certainly cool. Well, guys, it took me a while, but I finally have one of those three-card sets. I can tell you right now that these are going to be the first cards in the set proper. Um, and they are little three-card, and they're little three-card, like, uh, collages of various characters. Specifically, this one right here is the Worlds, is the Worlds of Magic. Characters who, uh, who are basically very, very magic, magic-based. Let me just connect the first two here. It's going to be kind of hard one-handed, but you can see right there, I've already got the camera right there on, Dr. Fate, Constantine, there's Sandman way in the background there, Zatanna, right there is Zatanna's father, I, his name kind of escapes me at the moment, right there, underneath all that shadow is the fucking Phantom, is the, uh, is the Phantom, is the Phantom Stranger, and we just keep adding on, and it's a little three-card run like this, shows off all of the worlds of magic themed characters it, it really does look really does look cool um i'm actually kind of looking at the oh wait never mind never mind i just okay never mind i actually thought that there was a character missing because i've got the card for one of the worlds of magic characters I just saw him off camera that looks really cool um also i've got another hologram card but uh it doesn't really help that it's the same damn one that i've already got and just as a comment, I'm already about halfway through this thing. I am nowhere near a full set. I have gotten that many duplicates, man. It actually kind of sucks a little bit. Well, guys, I can tell you I'm getting really close to having a complete set. In fact, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm one card away. What's really sick is, uh, I actually wanted to hold off on these until the end, but I guess I can share it. The one card I'm missing... I do have a hologram of, yeah, I'm missing the Boy Scout himself, I'm missing Superman. I actually kind of like with the uh, hologram, if I can get the shine to work with me here, uh, you actually can see that you can activate the x-ray vision by, by angling it right, that looks really friggin' cool. Now the other hologram I got is for, is for the Spectre. The Spectre just looks, well, again, I gotta try to keep that shine in there, and of course you can see the Spectre is... Well, phantasmal in the hologram. That's really fucking cool. I've only got a few packs left, guys. In fact, I've got uh, four packs left. God help me, Superman has got to be in those four packs, or else I'm going to be just a little bit pissed. And here it is, guys. The second to last pack, man. Finally got Superman. And with that, we now have the complete... 150 card set. Let me just put it right in the box there. I'll just tilt that downward. You can kind of see how big that pile is, man. That set was pretty friggin' cool. I actually do have to pull it out if I want to use it for like visual aids or anything when I talk about the set. Really, guys, um, the set has both positives and negatives. Let me just, uh, what the hell, I'll just move that off to the side. I'll just put the cards in in the middle there. You guys, of course, can't see them because my camera is too high up. But yeah, this this does have some positives and some negatives. The big positive is um, if you've ever been curious about DC's various super teams, you do have now a set that kind of focuses on them. The problem is in 1993, DC's super teams were not that interesting. Guys, um, let me put it to you this way. Um, the only thing that keeps this version of the Justice League from sucking is, well, the contents of the first card in that three-card run. Superman, Booster Gold, and Blue fucking Beetle. Because the rest of them are Fire, Ice, Guy fucking Gardner, and Bloodwind. Bloodwind! Nobody fucking remembers Blood fucking Wind, but, you know, naturally now if uh, one of those racist douchebags wants to say... Can you name seven black superheroes? Well, now you know of Bloodwind. Make sure to tell them that it's spelled with a fucking Y. Uh, no, guys, I'm not kidding. Spelled with a Y. Anyway, 
<coughs> Excuse me. Um, otherwise, that literally was it for the Justice League. The rest of the cool members, such as, well, next card up is Flash and Green Lantern and, you know, like, let's see, like Power Girl, Dr. Light, Metamorpho, Elongated Man, were all part of Justice League inter fucking national um, the Titans had split into two different teams at this point so we had so we had the new Titans and then we had team Titans that's team with an N um, the Legion the uh, Legion of superheroes had split into Legion as in uh, fucking L E G I O N as in that was like the acronym don't ask me what the hell it stood for I don't fucking know and the Legionnaires, which was the more traditional Legion of Legion of Superheroes. So yeah, you know, it was really kind of like a weird time for, for, for DC as they were trying out a lot of odd, odd shit. I will say though that it does sort of give you a lot of time to really really get to know some of the more lesser known characters. Bloodwind being, you know, one of them. As much as I can harp on the character for for, for, for being kind of shit. At least he was different. He was something new. Speaking of new, if I can skim down to the bottom of the deck here, uh, the bottom of the stack, the last batch of cards, not counting our two checklists, are actually made up of characters who were essentially new at the time, such as, see, we have here, we have your Agent, we have Agent Liberty, we have Dark Star, we have Eclipso, the heckler. Yeah, you can tell they were going through kind of like a dark edgy phase in the 90s. Thunderbolt, the Ray, Timberwolf, you know, and some of these characters are sort of cool. Some of these characters actually are kind of sort of, are actually kind of sort of remembered. Others, well, most of them haven't been too fondly, fondly remembered because DC Comics in 93 was not really the greenest of pastures. Um, I will say though that I do I do kind of like how we get a real in-depth look at say the Legion, uh, both versions of the Legion. I should specify uh, there's a rather large set dedicated in in here entirely to the Green Vuggen Lantern core, even if it means giving another card to a specific waste of waste of shit that shall not be fucking spoken of. Um, yeah. Uh, the set really isn't too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. A uh, comment, though, does have to be made on art. In certain cases, the art is absolutely hideous. Specifically across these, like, three-card, three-card, like, runs here at the very start. The one, let me see, let me see if I can find the damn thing. Um, yeah, it's a bit further down, isn't it? Of course it is, because they dump all the villains at the fucking bottom. All right, so hang on. I just got to try to find those three the uh was the foes of the justice league i'm just going to show you this first card i actually had to look at the artist credit on the back of this card i want to i want to assure everybody this is not art from rob fucking liefeld but my god it looks exactly like something that would have spewed forth from his nasty rancid pen look at this thing just look at that hideous face and all those and all those worthless lines guys that character uh, i got to look up his name it's weapon the character's name is weapons it is weapons master and he actually does have a card that's farther farther into the set that, his face looks nothing like this. He doesn't look like a withered piece of fucking stone. Yeah, and that is the same across all of them. Also, in terms of the foes of the uh, Justice League, I find it I find it kind of shit that all of them get cards, actually get solo cards dedicated to them, except for the Royal Flush Gang, who are stuck in the middle of this three-card fucking collage. Would have been nice if the Royal Flush Gang would have, would have gotten five cards. We, we could have totally had a 155 card, card set. I wouldn't have minded that at all. But that is not how this was played out. And ultimately, it just kind of felt a little bit lacking. Um, what is here, though, uh, instead, of, instead of bitching about what isn't here, what is here is certainly, certainly cool. Um, now, is it as cool as the previous set? Is it as cool? Let me move the box back and shot. Why not? So, is it as cool as DC's Cosmic Cards? No. Uh, Cosmic Cards was far, far deeper in terms of what characters they were, you know, pulling out, and the card art there was a little bit better. Even actually, the card layout in Cosmic Cards was a little bit, was just a little bit better. I will say 
that I am happy that uh, on the bottom of the cards they still have the uh, they still have the DC they still have the little DC trivia trivia questions. That honestly is totally cool. It's just um, this set almost feels like it was kind of rushed, and that is definitely a shame. I mean. Because it would have been nice, guys, if we could have had like if we could have had a set that was a little bit more in depth. And even though and even though they gave depth to to the friggin' Legion and the core, the problem is that uh, you don't really get a lot of the long-standing history of the of the Justice League. Instead, they just wanted to focus on the current Justice League team, which as I've stated, in 93, was kind of shit. Um, out of the holograms, I've got half of them. Like I said, I have Lobo, Superman, and Spectre here. Uh, I just need to get the other three. I do have one final pack, which could very well contain it. What the hell, guys? I'm actually going to crack this fucker open off camera just because. I'm curious now. Do we have... No, in fact, it's almost identical to the first pack I opened. Like, honest to God, it's pretty much all all cards I showed you guys before, with the one lone exception of a character I still don't know who the fuck he is, a guy by the name of Mr. Z. Um, yeah, so if I want the rest of the holograms, I'm going to have to go and hit up freaking eBay. Um, but hey, I do have I do have the base set. I do have the base 150 cards. That is totally awesome. Those things are going to look really nice in the binder right next to Cosmic Cards. So can I recommend Cosmic Teams? Well, if you've already bought the Cosmic Cards set and you would really like the follow-up, then by all means pick it up. Um, if you have the option of either buying a box of Cosmic Teams here or a box of Cosmic Cards and you have neither set... Definitely go for Cosmic Cards. You're going to get a lot more bang for your buck in terms of what characters are there and how and how the art looks and how everything's laid out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what is here though is still is still fun. And if you can find and if if you can find the box cheaply, by all means pick it up. I think I got this for like twenty five bucks. Uh, probably a little high. Um, I would probably have felt a hell of a lot better if I'd have gotten this thing for like 10 but still, at 20 bucks, it still isn't too bad, and I did have fun cracking open all the packs and everything, and I was, at the at the end of the day, I was, able, I was able to get a full set, and when you can get a full set out of a trading card box, that is always awesome. Unfortunately, I told somebody about this, they really hoped I had a second set. Well, I don't have a second Superman. Um... I can tell you I've got two of everything else, though. So, guaranteed, I'm going to be able to send that guy an almost complete second set. I'm going to have to tell him to go to fucking eBay to get to get his hands on Superman. And I can throw in the Lobo hologram for him, because I do have an extra of that. So, now I've got to take some time and put this, and put this mountain of cards into trading card pages... And then I'm going to go and get to bed because you guys can tell I'm still dealing with this fucking cold. And well, actually, no, I'm not even I'm not even dealing with the cold. I just have a lingering cough, and I know it's going to be here for probably like another week. It's beginning to drive me nuts. It's probably driving you guys nuts when you tune into to my videos week after week, or day after day, depending on how often you watch me. So hopefully, so hopefully that will clear up soon. Um, so yeah, I get to hack and cough and put cards in trading card pages. Oh, the fun. And, guys, that is going to do it for this installment of Trading Card Corner. Until next time, guys, take care. See ya.